been a very long school day. <laughs> like there's a thousand things going through my mind. And so when I go to the vending machine to get a drink, I, I expect to get a drink that is not frozen. And I got a Powerade and it's frozen. Look, look, look. I don't know how I'm supposed to drink this. I think this is punishment because I've been taking, I've been drinking too many cold things and God's trying to say no more. I got this in the mail today and it is a origami owl box. For those of you who follow me on Facebook and Twitter or on Instagram, I posted something like, hold on, where is it? I posted something like this with a broken locket, right? So what happened was is that this locket means a lot to me. This was given to me by like a combination of people. It was given to me by my friend Holly, my friend Lee, and my goddaughter Lauren, right? They actually all got me the same gift with the same charms. It was super funny, but this is a very special like locket to me. And what happened was I woke up one day and it broke apart, or it didn't break apart, but it broke and all my charms were gone, but the last two things that were remaining was the plate and the little cross charm, which I thought was super awesome. And I, I really connected, it connected to me thinking like, you know, the last thing that I have, the first and the last thing I will always have is my faith. Like no one can take that away from me. No matter what happens, like my faith will never be gone. And I just thought it was a great thing and I posted it on Twitter and Instagram and the company that sells these, Origami Owl, they messaged me back and they sent me, they loved my story and they said they loved your, my faith and they sent me my story, or I'm sorry, they sent me, they sent me a replacement locket, the exact same one, they sent me a replacement locket for free. So thank you Origami Owl for giving me a free locket after you guys read like my story on Facebook and stuff. It means a lot, I love my lockets and I am also officially announcing that I have decided to become a designer with Origami Owl. So I will be starting to sell Origami Owl jewelry, which I'm very, very excited about. And I'll have more information details about that later, but I'm going to open this up. That is my new locket. Thank you, Origami Owl. Thank you. Gabe. Hi, Internet. <laughs> Hi, YouTube. Yes, well, Internet, YouTube. Uh, yeah. Basically. Gabe, would you like to play something for us? Yeah. Um, <laughs> show us your instrument. No and explain what it is. It's a Maui saxophone for the read. Today we are performing for the Environmental Awareness Club. We have a special set uh, prepared for this occasion, so we hope everybody enjoys it. Yeah! Serena, what are we singing today? What song are we are singing? Oh, We're singing Circle of Life, the officers are singing. We are singing Be OK. And then we have two, we have one soloist. Oh, there he is! Is that Kevin? Is that Kevin, Kevin, what are you singing? Kevin, what are you singing? Yes, he sings. With, by, accompanied by? Let me drop away up of the 
remember what it's usually We are all talking for. about Jasmine. <laughs> We're all talking about Jasmine <laughs> and her cleavage. I was, I was uh, talking <laughs> about the cleavage. Here, I'm blocking it with my arm so you don't we see it. keep this PG, guys. <laughs> but literally. Like, three second look. All the way up to my neck. It's nope, like right I, there. Let it happen. Look like there. <laughs> Jasmine, whatever you do, don't bend down. Don't, all right. Like, bend down. Bend down. Bend down. Bend it's bad, right? It goes up to it's my really chin, bad. right? Uh, Amanda, it's really bad, right? <laughs> boobs. <laughs> Don't listen to Amanda. Amanda's a lesbian. She likes boobs. Wait, I'm Apparently, no, 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 no. This is now rated PG-13. Um, Amanda really like, wait, is it nip boobs? Nippy. <laughs> she likes being nippy. She likes being nippy. I don't. Yeah, she said it makes her boobs look better. Yeah, it's just Patrice, <laughs> um, come here. Um, it's because earlier. Okay, so we're at my house, right? And there's nobody here because my family's out. And it's Jasmine. It's Jasmine. It's Patrice, Amanda, and then our other friend Kevin. Hey Kevin. Hey Kevin. Hey Kevin. Hey Kevin. Hey Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Kevin has boobs too. Kevin does have boobs. He has nips. He Men's has guys have boobs. They have nips, but they're just not large enough. To put into a bra. I think that's the regular argument here. Okay. No, back to what I was saying. Uh, we were talking about like I don't know. They were okay. They were talking about like hard nips earlier. Oh yeah. And I was watching Hotel Transylvania like a good angel that I am. Whatever. <laughs> What's up, dude? What's up, dude? Oh God. You're still out. It's 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 so inevitable. Look, she has to do that. <laughs> Oh my lord. Dude, but seriously though, boobs can be such a pain. Oh, sorry, sorry. Well, actually, sorry. I wouldn't know because I'm. I'm you're gonna need to, like, you're gonna need to cut that. I think she just broke her shirt. <laughs> Did you just break your. <laughs> she just broke her shirt. She just ripped her shirt and her boobs are falling out. Do you need to borrow a shirt? Look, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the way that nerd, nerd, that's what they say. Not 